Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege and honor to work for and with these two remarkable people and leaders who, like the rest of us, are heavily invested in the eradication of retinal diseases. Please join me in welcoming and saying thank you to Luli and Gordon Gund. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to both Luli and me and Bill. Thank you for those very kind remarks on behalf of both Luli and myself. Those were terrific in that video. And you can't miss people like Evan Mittman and Ed Gollum's voice, can you? Those are great. Well, thank you all, and Jerry and Debbie and everybody who was part of that. Um, I, this, is, uh, uh, this is quite a time. I think it may be my last time with this microphone, so stand by because I got a few th people I want to thank and recognize. And yes, we've been at this for 45 years. I won't take that long tonight, but I may take, I, I'll try not to take 45 minutes, but that, that was overwhelming. Thank you. Uh, let, me, let me start just uh, by, by, first of all, thanking Bill, who I've really enjoyed working with Bill over the last 11 years and this wonderful professional staff that we have who put on this great conference and, and many others before this, but they, they do such a terrific job. Let's give the professional staff a round of applause. And we're, we're very fortunate tonight to have uh, several of the original founding group with us, three in fact. And uh, one of those is Beverly Berman, who's right here and down in front. <laughs> Beverly and Ben. And, and we're also, I should say, with respect to the Bermans, who are so important to the starting of this, uh, we have uh, Mindy Kaplan and the Baltimore chapter are hosting tonight's dinner. So Mindy, thank you. Mindy Berman Kaplan, thank you. And another of, of our founding group is Harriet Finkelstein, who along with her husband, David, were just terrific with this effort for, for decades. Harriet, thank you. Please stand. And another of the co-founding group, the last of, that I'll introduce, happens to be my wife of, of 50, in a, 50 years in a month. Uh, and my, uh, <laughs> Luli. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that's great. I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're not surprised that she is not only my very best friend and, and uh, my partner for that long, and also um, somebody whose judgment I value the most of anyone. But this morning she told me, oh, just tell them I'm a hot, red hot Jersey tomato. So, <laughs> so there she is. There she <laughs> uh, I did, <laughs> I wasn't sure I should say that, but anyway, that's, that's right. We also are very fortunate to have with us another person who's been involved and whose family have been involved, including her son, for, for uh, uh, decades, almost the full 45. Helen Davis is right here also. She joined in 1972. Helen.
Hel Helen's uh, husband, and then she ran the New York chapter and did a phenomenal job. And of course, Joel Davis, who you all know, has been just instrumental in this whole effort over many years. So here's to the Davis family. We're also fortunate to have with us some other people who've, who've really been guiding this foundation for decades, including Dr. Alan Ladies. I hope, Alan, you are here. And Dr. Mort Goldberg. Uh, Alan, please stand. Alan, uh, Alan was the chairman of our scientific advisory board from 1972 on, and Mort was an original member of that, too. Of course, Mort is now chairing our Clinical Research Institute CRI board, doing a great job with that. I, I, you, you can't understand when lay people uh, starts, <coughs> excuse me, something like this, how little credibility you have. You just, you know, people, well, who are you to talk to us about research? So these guys, and John Dowling and Elliot Burson and others that were part of that first group, really gave us the credibility. People, act, the, the good housekeeping seal of approval, which we could never have had without that. So thank you guys, and thanks to the Scientific Advisory Board. I hope Jackie Duncan's here, because she's carried on that. Where are you, Jackie? Are you here? Thank you. And I, uh, a few, allow me to indulge myself with a few personal thank yous, too. I, there are two people here, Warren Thaler and Sharon Polignano. Warren is uh, president of my office. He's a member of the board of directors of the foundation and a newly minted vice chairman and been with me 26 years. And then Sharon, I hope you'll stand up, too. Sharon has been with me 35 years. And the communications back and forth and everything I've had to do with the foundation, she no, knows more about it than I do. So thank you, Sharon. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And then, and then, of course, good friends all that I've made in this effort over the years, including Ed Golub, who also has recently retired as president after more than 30 years, and, and uh, his family, and Jerry and Debbie Shaw. Jerry is vice chairman and very involved for more than 20 years. Great friends, and and uh, and we all see the see the rationale for for bringing in the next generation. Amongst the next generation who are already here are Joel Davis, uh, and Haynes Lee, and Yvonne Chester, officers all that I, that we've all worked together for many years very closely, uh, and they'll be joined by not only Warren who will be joining them, but Eddie Rusnow, it's great. Jonathan Steinberg who will take over from David as the chief research officer. And of course, last but by no means least, David Brent, who will do a fabulous job as, as our new chairman. And, and his, best, his, his best attribute is his wife, by the way. Betsy is just terrific. So, so Betsy and David, here's to you guys. We're, we're very fortunate to have, to have a, a great deal of strength in, 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 in a lot of these areas now, and, and we have a wonderful board. It's got a lot of wisdom and just going to get stronger and stronger. I, 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 I can't get over the fact that it's 45 years. On, on the one hand, I feel like it's just, it, well, it's, it's a long time ago. And on the other, it's just yesterday. Hard to believe. But I, and, and unfortunately, of course, a number of the founding group are not with us any longer. But I know that they would be extremely proud of what all of you and this organization has done, I'm sure. They would feel that way, and and uh, and think about it. I mean, we've we've probably funded thousands of researchers over the years. The thing that we started out with, and it was mentioned earlier, there was there was really nothing going on in the way of research. Very little knowledge about these diseases in 1971. Very little knowledge about the retina or about the visual process, and certainly about retinal degenerative diseases. And almost no research going on. So we had to start with almost a blank canvas. First thing we had to do was get some honest-to-goodness research going in a multidisciplined way, and we had to start populating the field with, with uh, uh, highly educated and motivated basic scientists and clinical researchers. So, we, so that's where we, where we started. That's why that credibility that the Scientific Advisory Board provided us was so important. And, and so the first thing we did, and with Ben Berman's 
extraordinary fundraising prowess. Nobody could turn him down. He was remarkable. Well, so we scraped together the money that we needed to start the Berman Gun Lab, the first laboratory ever focused on these diseases at, at Harvard at the Mass Iron Air Infirmary, and, uh, and started under Elliot Burson, who, by the way, had a huge amount to do with the founding of this foundation, too. He brought the Bermans and, and my wife and I together and, and, and really provided the, the, the challenge that we needed to get going. We needed something that we could see that we could accomplish in the short run in a very tangible way, and that was starting, funding the start of that laboratory. So it was hugely important. Since then, of course, as I said earlier, we have probably funded thousands of researchers all over the world and, and brought a number, a great number of researchers in. Uh, we still continue to do that, trying to populate the field and, with younger and, and, and new, freshly uh, educated people to really keep this, uh, this whole field energized. And, and we're doing that. We've identified, as many of you know, more than 250 disease-related genes, and, and on and on. So, and we're, and we're actually delivering on our mission right now with therapies in the field and many more to come, including 20 clinical trials in the works right now. So I know that, uh, that the other founders would be extremely proud of this progress, and I also know that Luli and I are, and we're especially uh, grateful to those who have helped us uh, reach the challenge match goal that was just terrific. Thanks to all of you in this room who did that. But most of all, we're tremendously grateful to everybody who, uh, the, who in this room and the thousands of people around the country and the thousands and thousands of people in the past that have been generously su supportive in any way they could, whether it was in donating their own funds, whether it was, it was in volu doing volunteer work, whether it was uh, with in-kind contributions or just supporting each other along the way. So we're tremendously grateful to all of you for that. It's, it's quite a tribute to all of you. And, and then I, I, I would also say I know they'd be extremely excited about, they, they wouldn't, the founders, and I guess both, well, Beverly and, and uh, Harriet and Lulie and I probably also would never have believed how far we would come in so many ways. Take, for example, the fact that now they're 43 chapters around the country that are in themselves a very, very support and fundraising oriented in a community sense. Very important to what we do. We have also have 40 walks now that we do every year and certainly well into the 20s in terms of dinners and other fundraising events like wine tasting around the country. And those, those events, just to give you an example of the value of those to this effort, have raised more than $150 million over the years, which is tremendous. In fact, <laughs> and, and those chapters really spawn the volunteers and the donors and the leadership for the future, which they have done in a major way, so that the whole foundation, including major gifts and along with all the work of the volunteers and, and donors, has raised more than $700 million. Pretty remarkable for an organization that, that, that was so small when we started. So I, I, you've heard a lot about the science, and I, I, I'd also like to ask all those who gave presentations over the last couple of days, the doctors that are in the room, the researchers, and the other presenters, to please stand and let us all thank you. Because of them, we've, we've heard just how far we've come. It's really, it's really an incredible point now. Uh, not only do we, do we have these clinical trials in the works, and not only are there already therapies out there that are helping to save and restore sight for millions of people, including things like the Argus II and, and Lucentis and ILEA, and of course, what really excites us all tremendously is the RPE65 Spark Therapeutics therapy and, and the great promise that holds, not only for the people with that particular disease, but for, but really for a whole platform of gene therapies, which we hope this will be the first of. Uh, so there's an awful lot going on 
uh, there's an awful lot more to do. This is a, a, a special time, not only because of the opportunity that's out there and because we are delivering on the mission, but because of what it will take from all of us in a renewed commitment to, to get the job done, to get to the finish line. I was interested in D'Artagnan's uh, comment yesterday. We came so far, but not just to say we've come this far. We have further to go, and that applies to all of us. We've come a long way, but we have still a long way to go. And, it, and while, and I've got great confidence, Lulu and I do, that uh, we're committed to staying, as Bill said, we're gonna stay involved, we're stepping aside or down, but because uh, we think it's really important to have n a new generation of leadership take this effort over. And of course, we have tremendous confidence in, in David Brent to lead that whole thing. And uh, I mean, you'll see, not only does he have his great wife, Betsy, but he also has a terrific intellect, a, a real commitment to this effort and, and a, a real stake in its outcome. Um, and, he's, and he's passionate about it. And those are all things that are going to be critical going forward. We'll need a new generation of leadership, not only leadership, but also researchers and also families that, and individuals that are affected. We're going to ha need all of that to get to where we want to go. And we're not going to stop till we do that. I know that. And because of the commitment of all of you and thousands of other people around the country, I know we'll get there. And, and uh, uh, we've got more going on tonight, so I'm going to... I'm going to leave you with a couple of thoughts. First of all, uh, that, that uh, Luli and I are grateful to all of you for this and for all you've done. And secondly, uh, we are committed like we know you are. And because of that, we can move forward together and we can put an end to retinal degenerative diseases. And we'll do that. Thank you very much. Thank you.